Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Mayuko and welcome back to my channel. Y'all really liked the last Code With Me video, so we're doing another one! Woohoo! Yay! I don't know what it was about the other one. Maybe it's because y'all saw me struggling and it helped with your imposter syndrome or hopefully it was just entertaining. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you liked about it, but we're doing it again because I had like an hour or so and I figured why not use this time to again code for fun. We're gonna code again on the Lumi Cube and last time I asked what I should make this coming time and someone suggested Jankenpon, which is rock, paper, scissors in Japanese. And I thought it could be fun and uh, if at the end I could go against it, best out of five and see who wins. It's me against the machine. It's humans against not AI but against this little cute cube that I have. By the way, I'm gonna be coding on this thing, which is a Lumi cube. It runs on Raspberry Pi. It runs using Python and it's just the easiest way to get set up. And I'm also terrible at Python. So I thought it could be fun as you watch me try to figure out what the heck I'm doing. But I think because I made the thing last time, hopefully it'll be easier because I still do remember some key moments and some key syntax that I probably should have known beforehand. But that's okay, we live and learn. <laughs> so here's another little montage to show you how things go. Y'all, my brain, my brain's not ready for coding right now. Why isn't it working? <gasps> ay ay ay. I don't, what? I think I broke it. <laughs> I'm a genius. So if that at all interests you, then stick around. Okay, shall we get started? Okay, so my plan is to have like a countdown. I don't know if it can take Japanese, but I was gonna have it go jang, ken, pong. And then on pong, there's gonna be like, like representations. I don't know if I'm gonna make like representations of like rock paper, scissors, we'll see, we'll see. I think I'll probably do the easy thing first of just writing down the words so that I can get the logic correct and then we'll work on the cute prettiness. Maybe I can even get it to do sound, I don't know, we'll see. So, starting with a clean slate here. Heck, how do you do this again? How, how do you do this again? Um, um. Wow, we're off to a great start, everybody. Oh, <sighs> the code was sitting in front of me this whole time. Oh, I guess there's buttons on the back of this. There's these buttons. It goes from like one to zero. Oh, if top press equals one, I think. Probably, so if it's on. Oh, it's like literally like a switch. Duh. Come on, where you go, you've coded before. Invalid syntax invalid how do you do coding how do you do how do you do the code i'm my brain is still sleepy i gotta i gotta warm up a little bit okay 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 so next what i'm gonna do is check my cheat sheet so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna I'm just gonna copy a lot of these. Um, then are equal to zero. Oh wait, I don't need brackets. Cause this is Python. One, jung, can, po. So five. Elif, which I learned from a lot of y'all is a name. I believe it's a tur- it's, it's- I think people said it's a Turkish name? So that's cool. If any of y'all are Turkish, hello! Okay, so. If buttons top press mod 2 equals 0, then seconds. I have 5 seconds. I have red, 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 then red. Great. Let's do green, yellow, red. Okay. Does that work? Okay, ready? Ready? Where the heck is the button? Jang, Kang, Pong. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? 
What? It's just going through Junk and Bone forever. What are you doing? It's repeating forever. Is it because it's in a while loop forever? Hello? Oh. Okay, I think I know why. Because it after this exits, buttons pressed count mo is still mod 2, so then it just goes here. I see. Okay. Jang Ken Pong. Choi much. Choi much. Is there a thing that's like only do things when the button is pressed once? You know what I mean? No. I think I feel like top pressed if top pressed is equal to one, right? Will it do that? Four, three, two, one. Oh, I did it! <laughs> Wait, why didn't it work before? I don't get it, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's cool. It's totally cool. I that's what I did. That's what I did. Scroll text. Scroll text. Uh ready? Oh, can I do Japanese? Yo yi. Green, I guess. Okay. Can you, do you know Japanese, little guy? Nope. Nope. Nope, probably not. It doesn't know Japanese. My cube is not bilingual like me. I guess it's ready. 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 Jang. Ken. Pong. Is that too slow? Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> zero. <laughs> it's gonna be fast this time. Ready. Jang. Ken. Pong. Okay, that's. I think that's better. Okay. Time for a quick bio break while I tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Career Karma. So some of you are probably looking to do a career switch into tech, and you might know that boot camps are the quickest and easiest way to do so. And if you're interested in boot camps, really just getting into the tech industry at all, then you should be on Career Karma. Career Karma is the easiest place to find a US-based job training program online. They help over 1 million workers navigate their careers every month, offering support through a community of peers, mentors, and coaches to find your dream career. They have a ton of resources like amazing blog posts and reviews about different coding boot camps, and also live audio rooms led by coaches and mentors to give you advice to switch into tech. Also, the best part is that Career Karma is free and it always will be. So because you're sponsoring today's video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers get exclusive access to free coaching sessions with Career Karma coaches that will jumpstart your tech career. So make sure to go to ck.chat slash Mayuko to learn more. Thank you again so much to Career Karma for sponsoring today's video. Hopefully y'all are hydrated by now. And so now let's get back to the video. Okay, so I got that. Import random, um, and then on the poem, random dot uh, zero zero one two cube dot scroll text pa. I could just do rock paper scissors, fam, but they asked for someone asked for junk and pong. and why not learn how to do rock paper scissors in a different language for all of you who don't speak japanese this is a cultural experience okay okay mvp mvp ready ready jang Ken. i lost it kind of works but the timing is super not obvious <laughs> pretty happy with the mvp 
it's got to be better. I think we got to figure out a better thing than this scroll text business. Speaker. Ooh. Ooh. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's going to speak to me. Pong. Let's just see what this does. What if it's really weird? Oh. <gasps> I didn't know that my cube had a male voice, but cool. I think just like a stoplight thing is not a bad idea. You know what I mean? Cube dot set all green, yellow, and then red, basically. It's an experiment. We're always gonna experiment. If you're coding but not experimenting, gotta experiment. Okay, it'll go ready, Jung, Ken, Pong. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> okay, should I? do a bit representation an eight by i think it's eight by eight seven by seven representation of good choki pa okay okay so how can i make a freaking good good is the easiest it looks like this i guess good good like this does that look like a good <laughs> i don't think I don't think that looks very good. Sure. <laughs> so let's try the pa, because that'll be easier. I don't know. <laughs> These are Mickey hands. Good. Pa. Chucky. This is going to be the hard one. It's going to be incredibly hard. These are my artistic renditions of good Chucky Pa. So, how can i convert this into code these set to panel color array yeah i can do that black let's see what it looks like oh look at that i did it now i think i can get through everything so please hold while I brute force things. Okay, all right. Now that it works, now that it works, we're gonna do me against the machine, best out of five. Ready? I win. One for Muko. Two for Muko, one more to win it. Oh, machine one one. Aiko, let's tie. Come on. I win. I did it, I did it. I beat you the thing I made. But it could very well beat me too if. I wasn't lucky. Hey, that's fun. I did it, everybody. Yay. Well, hey, thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. I had fun. Now I have a little friend that I can play with whenever I feel like. I'm going to leave links to the source code as well as the Lumi Cube in the description box down below. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know what you'd like for me to do, I guess, whether that be another Lumi Cube app or maybe it's an iOS app. I would love your ideas. Put them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.